Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Morals in Minutes. I am Muhammad Ali, and today we will talk about hygiene. The religion of Allah, religion of submission, Islam is a religion that covers all categories and not just the spiritual soul of the believer. In fact, the religion covers the physical part as well. Islam places a high emphasis on hygiene. Hygiene isn't just for one's physical appearance, since it is proven by medical professions that good hygiene results in good health. Washing one's hands, cleaning one's teeth, taking frequent showers, washing one's hair, cutting one's nails and so on. Now what has the holy progeny, peace be upon them, have said concerning this son? The holy messenger, peace be upon him, and his family has spoken time and time again of the importance of cleanliness. I will narrate to you some of these holy traditions. The messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, and his family said, try to be clean as much as you are able to. Verily, Allah has based the foundation of Islam on cleanliness. In another long narration narrated by Imam Radha, peace be upon him, he said, there are five sunnah about the head and five others related to the body. The first five concerning the head are washing one's mouth, trimming the moustache, combing the hair and drawing up water through mouth and nostril. As you can see from the holy traditions, the high importance of hygiene in the religion of Islam. Let us pray to Allah that we can follow this holy sunnah in our daily lives. Peace and blessing be upon Muhammad and his holy progeny. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.